This year at our September annual board meeting, we're actually going to invite the Georgia Department of Transportation down to begin to talk about public transit again, different options for us, um, how things maybe changed in the last four years, some funding mechanisms that the federal government has changed. Mm -hmm. Um, so we can begin to have that discussion again in our community about where to go with the public transit system. So we haven't, the discussion hasn't stopped. Uh, we're continuing to have to, to research that, uh, answer a lot of questions. I don't know how to follow directions well. I do want to, as you guys continue to, to do this, I, um, I will be around after the meeting, and we need to also get on through with the rest of the meeting. So I, I'll, you guys can continue to, to draw on things. On, your sh on the table over here at the entrance, we're having two more open houses. We're going to do the exact same thing. Tonight, you guys are doing the tabletop version. We're going to do the more, um, I don't want to say in-depth. This is pretty in-depth tonight. But uh, <coughs> big poster version of this um, for the entire community. So we have two open houses coming up over the next month. If you have a community group um, similar to this, a church group, a neighborhood group, anything like that, that you want me to come and speak to over the next two months, call me <laughs> ASAP. Um, we want to get you scheduled to meet your community input from your neighbors, from your um, civic group. So let us know as soon as possible so we can get you scheduled. Because we really want to get this community input. Lastly, there's two more brochures on the table as you walk out. A bicycling in South Georgia, Gretchen's holding them up. And um, they may have already all picked up the senior resource map. The senior resource map is a brand new one. We did not have very many copies, um, but it's available on our website. So um, I don't think anybody here is old enough to need a senior resource map. So that's good. We wanted to also do something about uh, I, I did have one question over here I want to answer, and then um, I'll turn it back over to Gretchen. <laughs> I do have cards, yes. Um, I'll get them at the table. Okay, Mr. Hyde. Four years ago, the transportation, public transportation um, was on the table. Because I remember I read about, you know, like the, the, the trans and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Why did you not go with it? Because that also doesn't need a public transit. It looked out of funding at that time. Where were we going to get the funding for it? Primarily it was the local funding. Where are we going to find that from? And Councilman Kate, he asked me that question. Where are we going to get the money from? That's a big question for our community to decide. Um, I don't have the answer to that. That's a big Not for the next operation. Not to pay the ongoing operation. Just like in regular, they can't be used to pay ongoing operation. So it has to come from another source. So that's where we've got to decide as a community what that source is. We also need to have that continuing discussion. In addressing that, uh, when I took the Government 101 class a couple of years ago, Larry Hansen said the reason we don't have a transportation, public transportation system for Valdosta and they didn't go ahead was because it was falling short, like on their projections, of a million dollars a year. However, the Valdosta uh, property tax presently at 4.3 mils and maybe going up because of the budget shortfall is the lowest of any city of comparable size in Georgia. We are way below cities like Augusta and, and uh, uh, you know a lot of other cities of comparable size. A one mil increase in the property tax in Valdosta would provide us with over a million dollars, and that could basically fund that shortfall. From my experience. <laughs> <laughs> Over the next 25 years, we're saying it's going to cost $78 million for an urban transit system. Over 25 years, yes. $36 million of that's unidentified. We don't know where that's going to come from. So that we aren't even saying we're going to implement it this time because we don't know where that money is going to come from. I don't recognize that. Um, a suggestion to the 
city council or someone in the city government that there was a city that had like a college and a county and the city involved in their transportation system, which means that they all fixed in and they provided transportation for those who needed it within the city. Each one of those was a governmental entity. Right. Put money in the pot. Right. And it didn't, it didn't overburden any one group. So, you know, that that was turned on that. I don't, I don't know why we couldn't think about something like that. That's, that's not, it's always an option for us to consider. Um, I'm not going to say that's something we should totally um, throw out the window. We need to consider all of the options available. Do I have another hand over here? Well, thank you all very much for your comments, and we're going to collect all these sheets afterwards. Um, I've got my cards over there at the table. Um, so if you want us to come to your group, um, we'd love to. Over the next couple months, uh, we're getting gathering input, or please come to the public meeting. Thank you again for your hospitality. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Corey. I am super thrilled.
for the people who were elected to go. Um, if you go as an observer, um, there is no cost. Um, you're responsible for your own meal. So you go up, you buy your breakfast on the way, you're there during the day, you get some lunch, and you come home. But there's no cost to enter the auditorium. Um, observers are seated in the back of the auditorium. The delegates are seated in the front of the auditorium by the congressional district. So, Mounds County caucuses with the 8th Congressional District. We used to caucus with the 1st, but now we caucus with the 8th because most of our population is in the 8th. So, we will be seated in the 8th Congressional District. Yes? How many days? It's just one day. It's Saturday, um, August the 9th, and it starts at 10 a.m. Um, you can observe, there are actually meetings start around 9 o'clock. I know the African American Caucus is going to have a, caucus, a meeting to elect um, one of their members because they've had a member step down. So uh, the caucus meetings begin at 9. It goes from about 9 till 4 o'clock on uh, Dublin, Georgia. So just one day. And then the dinner in the evening is $100. $75. $75 and $50 if you are a delegate. So for people who are delegates, if you want to go to the dinner, um, you need to reserve. Um, but it'll be only $50 for our delegates. Uh, okay. Um, our membership chairman, Dr. Amanda Hall, has stepped down as membership chairman. Um, she, you notice often that she's not here, she's still at the veterinary clinic. Um, she's very busy with trying to work the agenda of making sure that the pets and animals in our county are safe and well accounted for. Um, so she uh, resigned, stepped down from being our membership chair. Um, so the committee will meet um, sometime soon. We have some other business to do to elect a new membership chair. Qualifying chair. Dr. Sager is our qualifying chair. I know you might say, oh, but why do we need qualifying? Because maybe you want to think about running next year and running municipal elections. Maybe you want to think about, well, it wasn't my turn this time, but maybe next time I want to run against Austin Scott. I want to be a congressman. Um, now is the time to think about people that you know that would be good to run for office, to start to get them prepared, to start to have them um, think about what it means to serve as an elected congressman. So, just because we have our slate for this year ready to go, we still need to always be thinking about qualifying candidates. Uh, our next regular meeting will be September the 8th. That is not the first Monday of the month, it's the second Monday. We do not meet on Labor Day. We, we rest from our labors on Labor Day. Uh, we uh, will meet September the 8th. We will have a voter registration at the Pride Festival on September the 20th. We'll have a booth there, um, covered up, easy to sit. Um, it's not like 100 black men where you're on your feet for the whole time. Um, at Pride, we have a, a booth and we'll have um, information about our candidates. Um, Pride is a wonderful festival to go to. Always very friendly, always very happy. They have the state loan school of great entertainment. Um, so, uh, mark it on your calendars if you want to volunteer on September the 20th. Um, are there any members who have something important to tell to us? Mr. Rayford, is there something you want to talk to us about? No. No? Well, I can think of something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I got a button here that says no excuses. Yeah. And of course, this election is going to be very, very important. Yeah. And uh, I went to the mini market the other day, just while I was over, because I wanted to know what it meant. So that's, that's a good talking point. Tell them to get out and vote. Be sure that we win this election. This is going to be history if we win. And uh, this is the first time, so we got that's good. You know, I like to have some black for the members. You know, actually, it's a good. Do you have any extra buttons like that? Yeah, I guess I made. It's, okay. It's an open piece for just a conversation today. Okay. A lot of people don't know the election come up and how important, how important it's going to be. So you maybe know. I could get with you and we could have some at the party office. That'd be fine. And then people could pick them up from there. Thank you. Awesome. Demarcus, did you have something you want to say to us? Uh, did you tell them about the appointment? Oh, no, no. Come and tell them. Hey. 
How's everybody doing? Yeah. All right. I have a second, but um, for those who are aware, uh, I did pass uh, along the appointments list uh, to Gretchen. I'm soliciting uh, people, volunteers that are willing to serve on behalf of the county. I'm talking about some of the appointments range from the uh, Conference of Tourism Authority Violence Allowance, uh, uh, as well as the Industrial Authority. You know, we got various boards. At the end of the day, we need participants. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you wonder why, you know, uh, certain populations are underrepresented on those boards. Well, many of the time it's because they don't have time or they are not aware of it. Uh, this director has put all the appointments on the board. I just asked everybody, uh, if you're not able to do yourself, look about you. Look in the community. See, can you find someone that's interested in serving on any of these boards? I'm a very big proponent of diversity. When I say diversity, I not only talk about race, but I talk about gender. You know, because if you look at the makeup of some of these boards, you won't find you won't find uh, as many uh, females on some of them. I also speak of age. When you look on some of the boards, you tend to find a lot of older members of society. Uh, I would like to get you know something across the board. Just be honest with you. Uh, and as it pertains to race, yes, I would like to see even Hispanics. I would like to see Asian. I would like to see a variety of, of people across the board. And, and that's why I put it out there, just to be honest with you all. Uh, lastly, as you all know, uh, uh, Splash List, uh, we're working on some of those projects now. The Alapaha is, is in, in, in route as well. Um, my biggest concern at this point is that we focus on some of the items that we have dedicated funds for, and I hope that you all will pay attention to the upcoming news, the upcoming agendas as we proceed throughout the month and the year, because it is my goal to try to keep us focused on some of those projects. To be honest with you, um, I am somewhat uh, troubled um, when I hear of some of the projects um, that we're trying to get uh, on the state or federal level uh, that we could have got locally. Uh, that are the that, that people are still bouncing around whether we should do it or not, and in particular because it's in minority areas. Uh, when I look at Bounds County, I see it as one county. When one part of the county looks bad, it all looks bad. And that's just the honest truth. But I feel like I see it. And at some point, we're going to all have to start doing it. And, and so, with that being said, thanks, Gretchen. I look forward to seeing everybody at the, uh, at the convention. I have a question. Uh, the appointment to the Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Disabilities, is that for the Region 4 Planning Board, or is that for the Behavioral Health Services of South Georgia Board? Now, to be honest with you, when I spoke to Gretchen about the appointments, she asked me uh, about a particular board. And what I told her was, what I do, Gretchen, is I get a list of all the appointments that we have for the rest of the year. I do not know all of the particulars, but I will get the dates, and at least the positions. So all the particulars, I, I would like to direct you to uh, Joe Pritchard or either Page, and they'll give you the particulars. You always have the uh, citizens to be heard at the meetings, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm open. My main thing is inquire, <laughs> attend the meetings, see what they're talking about, and then apply. And then, of course, I would be dying to support you. I just want to uh, ask you a question. You, do you overlap with the city in terms of your, your, your um, the work you do? Part of, and I know you're on the east. That's side. correct. That's correct. And I have I have concerns about the west side and, and um, what you call the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of children in that area, and I, I'm, I'm surprised that, you know, that some of the people who sit on the board and what have you have not considered this. But West Street, Magnolia Street, you have a lot of kids going up now, and they have to walk in the roads and stuff. And I just I'm just betting it on. I don't know if you have anything to do with that. I know we got brother. Uh, we got a uh, uh, big mm, here, and uh, I've mentioned that before to some of the people, but that is, that's an issue that needs addressing. Right. Those kids are green, they got to walk on the street, they get wet, cars, flesh, and water on them. And I mean, it's, it's depressing. It's depressing. You said that mm -hmm. just oh, a minute ago, and I, I have problems with that. You're exactly right, and I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, 
I, I spoke to individuals about that situation, and in particular, I spoke to them about the forestry. You can see the trail like horses yes. going down the road. I mean, uh, it was supposed to be a widening project take place. Uh, evidently, there's a lot of focus and, and more debate going on about it right now because of right away or what have you, but at the end of the day, if you, if you can't at least uh, put one more lane, at least do sidewalks or something, uh, because it's, it's about the safety of the kids, uh, as well as trying to help facilitate the growth that is taking place over there. So I, I totally understand, and I ask that you come to the uh, citizens to be heard that our meetings and address it, because I'm right there with you. Um, and, and I'll be the first to tell you, I've seen personally firsthand where things that may not have been on a splash list have came up. No. And all of a sudden was funded. All of a sudden. And so that's that's the problem I have with a lot of it. And and for those who are unaware, I just got reelected. You know, I was on the ballot about two or three months ago. I was on the polls. So I'm good for the next four years. So get ready for me to really show my behind. <laughs> that's all I have.
Parsons we don't have yet. Um, Liz Johnson, she had some with her when she was here. Um, so they'll be coming, yes. And, and check in um, at the office. You can always call me. Um, and I'll tell you what we have. Not the average. <laughs> oh wait, one more question. I, if you need a, um, a bid for Mahani sign who's running for Georgia State Senate, I have some yard signs and I also have some buttons. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving us so far. We're going to keep continuing to need your help. If you want to volunteer, um, if you have time to make calls or anything like that, just get with me after the meeting and I'll be more than happy to help you. And then Jay. Okay. Now we are adjourned. <laughs>